So, Omar, I've got another Christmas video for you. And if you uh, don't be careful, you might be getting a micro tick router in the mail. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, we've got the same exact setup. Uh, the FortiGates are all on ADVPN. VPN. That didn't change. Uh, we're running VXLAN between branch two and hub one, just for now as an, as an example. I've stripped off the IP addresses for that um, for that VXLAN across uh, VLAN 555. So previously we had an IP address here on switch uh, 555, which is the, the coupling or the bridging of VLAN 555 and VXLAN 555. That's been stripped. The same thing on the, um, same thing on the branch side. Right, that's been stripped. Uh, it's been stripped because it's been put onto the micro tick routers uh, sitting, uh, I guess you can call it south of the Forty Gates. Uh, micro tick up there for the hub and micro tick down here. Uh, if we go ahead and jump on one of those micro ticks, uh, so here's the branch. So here's the one at the, here's, I'm gonna move it over so you can kind of see. Here's the micro tick down here. If we do a export to show a config, we see we have a loopback address. Uh, we also have a VLAN with VLAN uh, ID 555. So that VLAN ID is 5.5.5.2 slash 24. And the loopback address is 70, 70, 77, 77, 77, 1. And unfortunately, we're also running BGP on this micro tick router uh, with a peer of 5.5.5.1, which is the, the router up here. Let's look at the inverse. Uh, switched over to the hub. Export. On the hub, same thing, loop back and a VLAN 555. Um, the, uh, you know, it's 5.5.5.1 for that VLAN and the loopback address is 66.66.66.1. Um, so let's do a few things here. So from, uh, let's go from the, the branch. So from the branch, let's ping 5.5.5.1, which is the, pinging from the branch, we're pinging dot one, which is the hub. And just to show you that this is actually the case, uh, I'm gonna come over here um, and let's add some delay on here of uh, 44. So that should turn to 88. And there we go, 88, 96. Hey, it's a, it's a virtual micro check, what do you expect? All right, so that proves that we're actually going across that, um, the 80 VPN. So that actually proves that we're traversing here to get from VLAN uh, 555 on this microtech to this uh, VLAN 555. So um, as you saw in the configuration, I also have BGP configured. So if we do an IP route print, we can see that the branch router uh, is receiving the BGP route 66, uh, 66, 66, 66, 61 from, um, from, uh, from that gateway and it's distance 200 because it is internal BGP. Uh, if I do an export, you can see the AS uh, I'm running is just a private AS, AS64512. And I think I can just even do ping.66.66.66.1, which is ping in that guy. And again, to prove that's going across here, let's add delay of 55, 119. Hopefully that doesn't go above, uh, actually it won't go above our SLA um, because the 40 gauge is looking at the SLA of the circuit itself. It's not actually looking at this hidden traffic in the VLANs. Um, but hopefully uh, that makes you very happy. I know you had some other questions. Um, I need to understand you know, what sort of VLANs you wanted. If you want three VLANs running across each one or one VLAN from each site, but uh, give me a call or we can chat uh, after the holiday. Cheers.